it's early morning, alright? Alright, so, normally, in a team of Power Rangers, there are red, blue, black, green, yellow, pink. They might change it up a bit, adding um, gold, silver, um, purple, white. But, there has, even Power Rangers Dino Supercharge had a bunch of colored rangers but they didn't have an orange ranger why not there haven't been many power rangers that have an orange ranger member including the fact that power rangers um power rangers did not start in america it actually came from a japanese tv show called super sentai and they and power rangers usually uses the footage of Power Rangers, of Super Sentai, and plug it into into the fight scenes, so it can be like they created their sh their own show. But that is not the truth. So let's talk about how come there's never been an Orange Ranger. In Super Sentai, there have been many teams that have an Orange Ranger. In Q Ranger, they had an Orange Ranger. In Zooger, they had an Orange Ranger. In Tokyo, they had an Orange Ranger. There have been plenty of versions of Orange Rangers in Super Sentai that came from Japan, but those iterations, uh, those iterations of Super Sentai never came to America. But there have been at least some inkling, or at least a quick moment of an Orange Ranger. Let's talk about it. All right, number five is a pretty common one amongst Power Ranger fans. This is the one where Boom, the um, chief gadget tester at Space Patrol Delta Headquarters in Power Rangers SPD. He was um, Dr. Cat Manx's personal um, um, gadget gadget tester. So he tested all the gadgets, but he's also had his very has fantasized about being a Power Ranger, specifically the Orange Power Ranger. But during his training, he flunked out of the, cat, the academy and he didn't become a ranger. But if you look at his suit, it is pretty similar to all the other um, SPD suits, except the helmet is deprived from the Power Rangers in space season. And that's number five. Number four. Oh, and quick mention in the DS version of Power Rangers Super Legends, you can unlock Boom as a playable character in his orange range suit if you collect all Yomega crystals. Number four, I believe there was um, the Orange Solar Ranger. This Solar Ranger came from the comics. Basically, the Solar Ranger is an alien. It's like female mixed with human, basically half and half, like a mutant. She is an alien, and she teamed up with the Purple Solar Ranger, and they created a whole Solar Ranger team. And she became the Orange Solo Ranger. So that was number four from the comics. Number three, this one is actually pretty cool. So, a kid from the Make-A-Wish Foundation, if you don't know what Make-A-Wish is, it's basically kids that have cancer or any disabilities and power and they join up with other um, like programs. Um, such as Power Morphicon and Comic Con and stuff like that. And Power Rangers host a convention for Make a Wish where Make a Wish kids can come and meet their Power Rangers fan, meet their Power Rangers, and you know, take pictures and all that stuff. Me. But this one kid called Tyler, who lived in New Jersey, he wanted to become the Power, the Orange Power Ranger for Power Rangers Beast Morphers. As he wanted to protect to protect the world just like them. The kid got his own suit and he also got his own variant cover of Power Rangers and I'm pretty sure he got to keep it. And his Ranger identity is also considered in canon. That is number three and that was pretty cool. I like that, I like that. All right, number two, Bulk and Skull as Rangers. Now what happened here was one of Rita Repulsa's monsters came down and he captured the Rangers. So Zordon had to give him the ancient, he had to give Bulk and Skull the ancient and untested power coins. 
basically they were power coins but they were never tested and they basically you can't use the power for long he gave them the bulk and skull bulk and skull became the purple warhog ranger and skull became the orange chicken ranger or some type of bird i don't know and the suit ain't that good but i mean what can you do but yeah they were able to free the power rangers but alpha had to obviously take away their powers and erase their memory as no one could know they were power rangers not even that and number one this has come from power rangers dino supercharge or power rangers dino charge in a german comic book a german comic book do you understand all right so what happened here was, in this comic book, there was a design plot for a monster of the week called Hulkix. Hulkix. And what happened was, he was a shapeshifter. So basically, pretend this is Hulkix. Hulkix. He can swirl up and turn into this. So that is what happened. And that was the monster. So one day, he decided to disguise himself as the Dino Charge Orange Ranger. He did so, and he was able to at least sell the story that he was the Power Ranger from the 15th century. That pirates overran his ship, he dove underwater, which made him find the orange energy. But Tyler, the red Dino Charge Ranger, found it weird. The red Dino Charge Ranger found it weird because he had a Dino Saber. But the monster obviously has to force himself. Alright. So, yeah, um, the monster already then had to reveal his identity, and then he had to be, and the rangers then destroyed him. Those are the Power Rangers, um, orange Power Rangers that were, that happened throughout history. They weren't really part of a full team, and they weren't really in final battles, battles or at all these number monsters, fights. So those are the RJ Rangers and Power Ranger history. I hope you guys enjoyed. Tell me what else I should do in the comics. I mean the comments. Comments.